In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to compare and contrast the use of motion graphic titles with traditional titles. I recently did a tutorial in which I was very careful about how I timed the titles and their movement in order to get the kind of effect I wanted with the music track I had. And I discovered that motion graphic titles have some advantages in getting this job done, but some disadvantages as compared to regular titling as well. Let's look at both sides of that coin in this tutorial. First of all, I'd like to acquaint you with the clip that I have. It's an ocean clip. And if I drag down a little bit, you're going to see that I have a very lively music track going with it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use the beat of that very distinctive music to bring the titles in along with the sound. I've already used the automatic beat detection tool to put these beat markers in the top track. There are those little blue marks that look like teardrops. And when you hold the mouse over any one of them or click on them, you'll be able to see the timing of that particular beat in the total track. And this is going to be very important in a moment. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring the titles into the beat of the music. Let's see what I can do with the motion graphic titles to start with. I'm going to click on my title room and I'll go to a subset where I know I have some motion graphic titles. I have one called the minimalist and I'll take and drag it down and drop it into track number two and you notice when I'm next to a beat I automatically get a snap two line which is very nice. Now let's see how this looks timing wise in this segment. I'm going to have to play a few frames. Now it looks like I have to stretch it out so the duration matches this beat here. So I'm going to take the playhead and move it and slightly lengthen the duration of my title track. Now I need to edit it. I'll press the F2 key to get into my title designer. And here I see that I have two different components. I don't see anything on the screen because my playhead's at the end. Now in all of the motion graphic titles, there is an entrance and an exit. You can't use one or the other. You have to use both of them. So it will have animated intro and animated outro. But obviously my text is the wrong color here. So let's change that. I'm going to click on the first of the two titles I have available called Power Director. We'll change this to Ocean Waves. I'm going to change the title part. We'll leave the font the same way and we'll just change the color maybe to a darker color that looks much better. And let's click on the drop down on the left side to the other component of this title. We'll change it to High Tide. And let's change the color again. Let's change this perhaps to a deep blue. In this case, we cannot change the yellow motion bar. That's part of the motion graphic that we have no control over. The one nice thing about motion graphics in general is if you don't like the position, you can take the mouse and move them anywhere on the screen and everything moves together. You don't have to move the components separately. The other is if you want to change the size of them, you can do that as well, and you can position them anywhere you want on your screen, and they will all move and change together. So those are the real advantages of the motion graphic. It's very easy to use and very fast. Unfortunately, there's some things we can't do. We'll get to that in a moment. So we've got our title, and we've got the length. Let's click on OK. Let's move back to a few frames before the music and see how it looks now.
There's a little bit of the motion that somewhat coincidentally kind of fits with the beat of the music, but it's more accidental than intentional. I would like it to be so that anything on the screen that moves or initiates its change at the beat of the music. If I'm using a motion graphic title, that won't happen unless it happens to be designed and work out at the very same pace as the music. In this case, it doesn't. But it's a very simple, quick, and easy way to do some attractive titling. I'm going to take a traditional title, and I have one here on the screen. I'm going to drag and put it next to my motion graphic title. What I'd like to do is put it right next to that next beat marker. Now in this case, what I want to do is I want to animate this without using motion graphics because I want the components to come in and change at every single beat mark. And this is where you have a bit of an advantage if timing is absolutely critical. It's going to take more work, but I'll show you how to do it. I notice each of these beat markers, as I mentioned, has a certain time. And I'm going to write that down and pause the video and then return because I want to use these beats. I have an extra one here. I'll just remove that clip marker. I'm going to use these in order to time the music with the title. I have these recorded every time I hovered over it. I got the time. Now we're going to get into our title designer for this particular title. I'd like to show you how I use the beat detection music time codes to match the entrance and exit of the texts and also the graphics that I have on this particular slide. First thing is the ocean waves. I didn't have to indent that at all or delay it because the timing of that is right on the beat marker line with the title. And I want to make sure that I'm not using the clip time code, which is the left button, but the movie time code, which is the right button above the timeline. Next, I took my bar and I had to make sure that that had a certain feature to it. I'm clicking on it. I had to enable the fade in order for it to come in delayed and go out delayed. So that must be enabled. Also, the enable fade in and fade out. So I timed this at this point by simply dragging the marker to the proper time code that you see up here in order to initiate that popping on the screen at the right time. And I don't need a very long time for it to almost appear instantly. So I can shorten this as much as I want. So it will basically pop on. I, then I took the high tide, which was my third object, and I match this one by dragging to the left or right to match the time code I wanted that I saw in the beat detector. The same thing with the last object, which is the arrow. And again, it's a very short duration for in and out. And then I wanted the arrow to disappear first. So I took another time code that I had on the next beat and that determined when it exits same way with high tide, so they exit in reverse order in which they appeared on the screen, and then the bar, and then the ocean waves. Now another thing you can do if you want to make it even more interesting is you can take especially the initial effect, the starting effect for the text. You can't put a starting effect on these graphics on track two and track four, but you can on the text. I could take the ocean waves, for example, click on effect, and now I can add a starting effect to that if I wanted to. But let's do a slight, let's see, rotate counter. And I just change the effect on this track alone. And so that will spin in. So we can do that to track number one and track number three. We cannot do that when we click on our graphics tracks because it, the effect motion is only available for titles. So I'll click on OK. And now that I've adjusted the in and out of each of these, notice how it works pretty well with the beat of the music. Let's play this and you can watch. Now in this case, when I changed the ocean waves, I actually didn't make it look quite as good. So I'm going to go back to my title designer 
and I'll turn off my starting effect. In this case, I think it made it worse rather than better. You just click on the X, click on OK. Let me play it one more time, and let's see how this one looks. So if you're looking for very precise timing when it comes to titles, to the beat of music, you have a lot more precision that you can work with when you use a traditional title tool rather than the motion graphic title tool. There are other places where motion graphic shines, but this is one where I found the traditional title tool actually has a leg up.